are here in one of the streams running uh, from Oyerbach towards uh, Geldersheim. And one of the favorite things for springtime is to do some spring watching in the backyard or in the nearby neighborhood of where you live. Now we are here to really investigate about one particular animal and a one particular habitat. Now if you look behind me, you can see and you can hear that there's some running water. And you can see right that the water level is much higher behind me. Now, let's see what has happened here. Why is the water level so much higher? And what animal might be adapting this habitat to suit its lifestyle better? Now I'm walking here, I'm trying to keep it safe and I'm not bothering any animals while I am here, so I'm going to keep it relatively safe. But I want to show you this marvelous structure that an animal has built to keep all that water higher up there and this is the downstream. Now this structure spans from all the way here over to the other side and it's creating this artificial lake. I wonder which animal builds its own reservoir. So here our mystery animal has been collecting its building materials and its nutrition. It is using its um, really sharp and long incisors that it has that are self-sharpening and it will come during night time when it's dark and safe out from the water and start gnawing on these thick trees. Now, it's a very smart animal because it will actually not cut the tree in half. It will gnaw its way, make it really thin, but leaves it standing and lets the wind take care of the actual felling of the tree and it will return back and then try to move these big tree trunks to the water where the moving of the trees are way more easy. Over here you can see how one project is still only halfway and if we move further down the path we can find a tree that has been left to fall on its own. See how well this animal has been using its big iron filled teeth to gnaw into that wood make it ready to be felled. Now unfortunately for our animal this tree is leaning on to another one so this one is not going to be useful for our animal anytime soon. Our Focus animal also builds little snack houses. Well, they're called refrigerators, really. So during winter time, when our 
pond here is frozen to ensure that the whole family has enough food to eat they will store the most delicious parts of their felon trees on these little fridges like this there should be an underwater access below that pile where our animal dives and gets in to have a fresh lovely tree snack whenever it is hungry here we are in the bank of the stream running from Oyerbach towards Geldersheim. This is a home of our special focus animal. Behind me you can see its den. This is a marvelous structure constructed by this animal where it keeps its family safe and warm during the winter time. There is no visible entrance or exit to this den it is underwater but what we can see is how it has fresh tree put on top which is kind of like a storage for this animal it will use this wood for its nutrition as its food but also as construction material that it together with the silt from the bottom of the pond it will use to strengthen its den and make it air tight in one way so that it keeps cozy and warm during the cold winter time let's go closer to see this now the whole family will stay in we will usually have two adult animals and they will have one to two offsprings staying with them for two or three years I hope you have enjoyed our nature watch or spring watch which is my favorite time of the year and I leave you with two questions. Can you name the habitat we've just been witnessing? And can you name our focus mystery animal? See you next time. Bye-bye.